Now, I want to begin by explaining the parts of the organ. What we see and actually term as the organ is really called the console. The organ really consists of the pipes behind the walls that you sometimes don't see. Locating the on button is the next part. On this organ, it's called the start button and it's located underneath this console on the right side. Some organs just have a switch that you flip up or down or turn from side to side and they can be located in different areas on the organ. So you might need to look around for a minute in order to find it. This button is activated by pressing it in and holding for a few seconds until you hear the air flowing from the fan, creating the pressure needed in order for the sound to be released through the pipes. Once that is turned on, you're in business. This is a bench similar in structure to that of a piano bench, but can't be moved up and down, only forward and backward. Below we have the pedals, also known as the pedal board, which follows the same sequence of notes as the piano. And just above them, we have the swell and crescendo pedals. The one of the left being the swell pedal, controlling the volume for only the swell manual, and the crescendo pedal, which increases the overall sound of the organ. Moving up, we have on this organ only two divisions, or what are called manuals. This lower manual is called the grate, and this upper manual being called the swell. Stops, or knobs, are what create the different sounds of the organ. In this upright position, they will not play. Once pushed down, they will activate and produce that particular sound. On this right side below the grate manual is what we call the cancel button. When this is pushed, whatever stops you have activated will then cancel or deactivate. It resets the organ as if no stops were pushed and you can press any of the keys or pedals and no sound will occur. You can use this in between songs when you're not playing just in case your hand or foot accidentally slip and hit a note. I use this when there is a musical number or the choir stands to sing just in case a note gets bumped. So this last button over here is called the Sports Vondo button. And when you push that in, it is going to make all of the notes and the crescendo sound. So basically you have a full organ sound. You can either push it with your finger down here or there's another button if your hands aren't free. The toe stop is right here and you can push it in as well. Lastly are these white buttons in between the manuals. These small white buttons are called pistons. You can preset or program them to change your registration or sound. So in order to set a piston, this is how it will work. First, you push down all of the stops that you want to be associated with that piston. I'm just pushing down random ones. You're gonna come down here to the set button located over here on the left side of the organ. You're gonna push it in and then you will push in this button and hold it for a second and then release both at the same time. These pistons are located here so that they can be pushed with your fingers, but you also have pistons down by the pedals so that if your hands are not able to break the sound, your feet can kick or push them as well and it will work there too. So you can preset prelude, congregational, and solo registration so that you don't have to manually press down every single stop for each song you're playing. It is very handy. That is the summed up kind of quick overview of the organ. I've attached a couple websites and other YouTube videos here that I have researched and feel are great resources to help with the understanding process and physics of the organ, as well as a really neat video displaying the largest and most powerful organ in the world with over 33,000 pipes. It is pretty impressive. I've not been asked or paid in order to market these sites, but feel they are great resources to help better understand. Thanks for watching and make sure to watch for some more videos that will explain some simple vocabulary terms that are helpful to know, websites for where to order shoes, and suggested registrations to use for prelude, postlude, and congregational music.